Hi, uh, my name's Stuart Thompson. I'm one of the lecturers at Glasgow Clyde College. I teach mostly sort of cyber security, networking, uh, sort of firewalls. So what sparked my interest uh, was sort of looking at all the news uh, articles that were always sort of coming up on a sort of daily basis, all about all these cyber attacks, all these hacks, and it sort of piqued my interest. I really wanted to sort of delve into it and sort of see how those hacks were sort of starting, what, uh, you know, happened after those attacks, uh, looking at the sort of companies, you know, what they could have done to make things better. My favourite thing about uh, this course is not only sort of meeting all the students and sort of interacting with them, but also I get to play with nice technology and get to play with things that I wouldn't usually get uh, a chance to play with, mostly because they're really expensive things. As far as this course evolving over the years, there's been a lot, you know, as technology sort of progresses, there's new things that sort of come out all the time. Uh, one of the most sort of uh, recent ones was probably the use of AI. Everyone's sort of talking about AI at the moment. And a lot of new sort of attacks, especially sort of cyber attacks, are involving AI, whether they're sort of writing the malware for it, or at least they're playing a part within that. So at the college, we've sort of decided to try and sort of show students uh, the basics of AI. We've got a new AI unit in which we sort of speak about, you know, how AI is built, neural pathways are sort of connected and how that can be used, not only for the sort of malware creation, but also in how to protect networks and computers from that sort of malware as well. So what, I do as a lecturer to try and uh, sort of differentiate this course from other ones is I always try and get the students more involved in the sort of practical side of it. I'm always sort of harassing people, trying to get them to give us equipment so that we can actually use that and sort of learn from it. Uh, that way the students not only get the sort of theoretical side of it, they also get the sort of practical knowledge. So the most important skills that students will take away from this is research skills. They'll be able to you know, look at any sort of protocol or any sort of system and be able to do some research onto it to maybe find vulnerabilities and maybe how to sort of resolve those vulnerabilities. Other things they might sort of gain from this course is troubleshooting skills. When you're sort of learning systems, you're obviously going to break them and it's a good learning experience in being able to sort of troubleshoot what you've done and how to sort of fix that problem. And they should get a really good idea about cybersecurity as a whole, that it has many sort of different aspects to it. Some of the extracurricular resources that you can use uh, are things like Cisco. So Cisco is a sort of networking company and they do a lot of free courses that students can use to sort of sign up to and get an idea of how networks work and to sort of build networks. If you're looking at operating systems, Microsoft uh, Educator Academy have a lot of free resources that you can use as well. As far as it goes for ethical hacking and forensics, uh, we've got uh, companies like Immersive Labs, uh, Hack the Box, where you can get sort of real world knowledge of how to actually hack systems uh, and do reconnaissance, uh, so on within them. So the course uh, tries to align itself with industry as best as possible. So when uh, we are teaching students about networking, we always try and use equipment that industry uses. So such as Cisco networking equipment, there's always uh, going to be Cisco labs and we'll sort of train students within that. When it comes to protecting networks, uh, there's a firewall such as Palo Alto's firewall, uh, which is an industry recognized firewall that uh, healthcare industry, government organisations and so on will actually use within their networks to protect that. So we have a course that will help you maybe get uh, the sort of certification for Cisco, uh, for Palo Alto and for uh, industries such as like the Comtia. So one of the main misconceptions that students have is that cybersecurity is all about just hacking a system. They'll uh, see it on sort of TV and on uh, the news where it's just a little box that says hack and they'll sort of click on that and then they're in the system. 
but behind the scenes of that there's a lot of skills and a lot of knowledge that's gained through uh, sort of many months and years uh, of research and practice uh, which the, the students don't actually you know don't actually see at that point uh, but once they become uh, sort of more aware of that uh, they, they get to see that ethical hacking and cyber security uh, has many sort of different avenues that they can go down if you have absolutely no uh, experience with cybersecurity at all, you can always start at our level 6 cybersecurity course. Uh, from there, you can progress on to our HNC and HND course, which is a sort of two year course. If you want, after the end of two years, uh, when you get your HND, you can go straight into industry and uh, get an apprenticeship with a company. The other avenue is going to university and getting your, uh, your degree from that. Now, the college offers a pathways to Glasgow Caledonian University where you get direct entry into a third year of their cybersecurity university. Well first of all you know maybe have an interest in cybersecurity and you're wanting to learn about that. It doesn't really matter too much about your sort of experience. We will be able to sort of train you up and give you the education that you need. All we need from you is that you're willing to learn. You're willing to put in the hours uh, to sort of sit down and actually sort of go through research and uh, practice. Uh, as long as you have that, you should be fine uh, progressing through this course.